to you and to anybody else who, who doesn't have a sense of direction or doesn't know what they should do next. And the answer is you can always work on your life force. The only way to find out what you should be doing, it's like who you are, is to activate your life force. Because the life force is the only part of you that actually is capable of guiding you when you're lost. London and we're at the pitch where I did my uh, saving 100 shots from Row to Shore and John and today is uh, John's video but this time around we've got uh, we've got we've got Bazinga big Bazinga coming down to uh, take 100 shots at me this is not for me this is for John's channel we've also got the big recently returned Qatari Zach Jalab not a Qatar anymore fucking freezing so a West Ham dressing gown paired with Chelsea shorts Morals go out the window when it's cold. We have to just come back from Qatar. How many are you scoring today, Jonathan? I'm scoring all of the goals today. All? Every goal. I don't think I'll miss. Brilliant. I'm going to dive to my left today. I've decided it's a good day. Oh, nice, John. Good save. Ooh, there we go, like that. That's what happened. Are you coming? Are you, do you want to be in the intro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first Kieran. That's the first Kieran kind of response. Yeah. Do you want to be in the video? Oh, I've, I've never been confident yet ever. Unless it's about toast. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely day for it. It's not. It's overcast and um, it's not very nice at all, to be honest. Come on, Daddy. Oh, my God. I've got one of these for Christmas as well. Yeah, you're welcome, mate. Oh, oh well, that's a good save. Oh, good save, Kieran! Oh, good save, Kieran, mate. Really good save, that. Really Kieran's going to somehow end up being like the best YouTube goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, he oh, caught it! But I'm glad to be out. I'm glad to be moving. I'm glad to be with my friends. Because a lot of my life and this job is not being with my friends. It's sitting at a computer for eight hours. It's, it's sometimes it's nice. Other times it's not. Sometimes it's quite depressing. Mm. Oh, a wallop. If you think of it as a pyramid, there's three levels of the life force. The bottom level is your relationship with your physical body. The second layer is your relationship with other people. And the highest level is your relationship with yourself. The bottom step is your relationship to your physical body. All you gotta do is get your body working better. And, and it, it always works. The most classic thing is they're not exercising. Diet is another one, and sleeping. We finally finished. I've got no fucking clue what time it is, but I am fucking shattered. after that I'm also in a cracking mood no oh. oh well done me oh that's that slaps I've got to reply to emails which I despise but I'm in such an unbelievable mood and positive mood that I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tippy tippy tap away I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash out these emails 
I haven't uploaded for 10 days and I'm not even worried. I'm calm. And also the Harry video did like three quarters of a million views, so I'm also financially calm. However, one thing I will not do, no matter how positive I am, is jump on a call. Do not ask me ever to jump on the call. Please just email me telling me what you want, how much it is, what's the budget, and then I'll decide. Let's not waste people's time. If you're not my mum or my dad, then please just, just don't. I'm not, I hate it. I will not do it. So what percentage of that stuff is what makes you actually feel better at first? Well, when it, when it starts out, it's probably 85%. It's a very high. How fucking crazy is that? Now, my mental state for pretty much forever, but especially in the past year, has been uh, a bit, almost as volatile as Bitcoin. A lot of that each day, a lot of up and down. I want, and I've always wanted, just just like an acute angle, like, like a 10 degrees, 10 degrees going upwards. That's all I'm asking for. Now the film I was watching was called Stutz, and it's about Phil Stutz, Jonah Hill's therapist, talking about his, his method towards therapy. Now this Stutz filler doesn't just give you like, oh, how do you feel? He gives you actual physical things to do to help you feel better in the immediate term. What he suggests to do is to focus on your life force. Phase one, body, diet, and sleep. Don't frame exercise as getting fit or to lose weight. Frame it as the reason you do it is because it makes you feel better in your head afterwards. That's why you do it every day, not trying to force yourself to go out because you you, know, you want to lose 200 calories. My motivation to go to the gym or to play football or to go for a big walk at the end of the day is not because I want to burn off a croissant I had earlier. It's because I know once I go there, I'll feel better up here. I might not fancy eating a banana, but I'll eat the banana because I know once I've eaten the banana, I feel better up here. Phase two, relationships. I've taken this one to mean make sure you do the little things every day. From simply making the effort to see your friends and being grateful that they exist, all the way to complimenting a stranger, holding the door open for someone. Just those nice things that if you're in a bad mood, you're probably not going to do. But instead of waiting till you're in a good mood to do the nice things, if you do the nice things, they'll put you in the good mood. This also applies to motivation. Don't wait to do something when you're motivated. Do the thing and you'll become motivated after and during. Otherwise, you'll never do anything. If you're waiting for the days where you just wake up feeling happy and then you'll do the things, or you wake up feeling motivated and then you'll do the thing you want to do, you're going to be waiting a while. Phase three, yourself. This last part is the relationship you have with yourself. And to be quite honest, I found once I've done the other two things, I feel very good and I'll cut myself way more slack and be way more empathetic with myself than I probably would normally. I've got more patience, I've got more motivation. I feel overwhelmingly grateful for just having simple things. And I'm just positive, which then leads to when you're um and erring on a decision, if you're sort of unhappy, you'll shut down and you won't want to do it. If you've done all the things, which has resulted in you now being in a positive mood, you will more than likely say yes to most opportunities. Now, the idea of this is not to only be content mentally, but it also helps you figure out what on earth you want to do. Because there'll be a lot of people watching this who have no clue what they want to do. And it applies to me also, because a lot of the time, I've absolutely no clue what I want to make. I've got the job I want, but for the past year and a half, I've been completely lost and chopping and changing on what I want to create. Now this week, I've focused every single day of waking up, doing exercise, doing the little gratitude things and relationships with other people, just, just asking the guy behind the till how he's doing. How is he? How's his day? Have a lovely day, mate. Just little things like that. Letting the old woman on the bus before you. Letting all the women on the bus before you. Maybe even one man. Not the man, fuck the men. 
Now this week I have focused on all of these three things every single day and I've had the most consistently happy and positive week in years. And second to that, I now know exactly what I want to create for me and you. So if you are stuck and you don't know what you want to do in your life or what to create or what decisions you want to take, focus on these three things every single day and I can almost guarantee you it will eventually become clear. Welcome to the vlog.